Hills Fond Affair. Jamie Lynn Macchia, Staten Island. Colleen Gagne, Fulton County. Courtney Sheridan, Mohawk Valley. Jaleesa Peterkin, Kings County. Nina Dabori, Greater Rochester. Hope Where Hope Is Needed deals with children living with chronic disabilities or illnesses. I actually went to the elementary schools and decorated rocks for the children that said hope on them where I'm taking to different local hospitals and places where I can give these kids a little sign of hope. When I was 10 years old, I was diagnosed with reflex synthetic dystrophy and wasn't able to walk for years. And without the hope that my friends and family gave me, I don't think that I'd be walking today. And because of that, I never really thought that I'd be on the Miss New York stage. The Make-A-Wish Foundation helps grant the wishes of children with life-threatening illnesses. And I chose it because my best friend Dominic had a wish granted when he had leukemia. Uh, they built a clubhouse in his backyard. And though Dominic did pass away seven years ago, I hope to have the same impact on those children as he did on me. I actually just did a fundraiser. Uh, it was called We Dance for Dreams. which I just donated to the Make-A-Wish Foundation of Metro New York and Western New York. So I know that that went to help grant a wish, and I hope that I will get a letter to tell me uh, what exactly his wish was. My platform is battling depression because I have witnessed so many friends and family battle depression, and even some of them lose their life because of depression. And that's something that you look at after and say, why didn't I do something? And finally, I just got sick of it and said, gonna do something. Some advice that I would give to middle school or high school students about battling depression is to really figure out something that defines you, something that you can pull out of yourself and make it great. And I think that's the message that I want to give to other people is that you don't have to try to be like someone else, you just have to be your best self. My platform is something that's very close to my heart. I'm working with the issue of teen dating violence and it's something that, while it's maybe not the most comfortable topic to talk about, it's something that really needs to be brought into the limelight and so I'd like to do that this year. I've had a lot of opportunities to be able to work with my platform and I think the most effective ones are the ones that I do personally, not as Miss Mohawk Valley. I have friends that are experiencing things um, related to the issue and it's really just the most powerful when I know that I'm impacting someone that I really care about personally. My favorite part of competition is the talent competition because I really enjoy having new audiences to perform for. But aside from the actual stage competition, I really love meeting new, intelligent, very fun girls and making new friendships. Domestic violence and abuse is the number one cause of injury in the world. However, it's still the number one underreported crime. There are many organizations that aid in supporting victims, but there is a lack of awareness of these organizations. It is my passion to bring two things into society's eye. Number one, that domestic violence is never acceptable. And the second, that if you are a victim, there is help. You're never alone. About two years ago, a really close friend of mine was a victim of domestic violence and abuse. Being there with her during the experience, I realized that there was a lot that we didn't know ourselves, and there was a lot that we didn't know about the organizations that do aid in helping. So I wanted to really bring that into the mainstream focus and help our youth empower them, because knowledge is power. My platform really chose me. I was one of the only Indian girls in my classes growing up as a child, and even throughout high school. And I was exposed to so many people who had very common misconceptions about my culture and stereotypes that existed within. So many people have asked me questions in terms of what the red dot means, or if I'm going to have an arranged marriage, or if I worship cows. And many of these remarks weren't necessarily meant to be malicious, but simply due to the fact of ignorance. So my platform celebrating diversity through cultural competence really encompasses an understanding of everyone's cultural beliefs and finding a way to intersect that within our daily lives in order to establish an open and honest line of communication between all cultures.